Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another... Hold on, I feel like I'm too close to the camera. Today we're going to be doing another World's Worst Tattoos, one of my longest running series. Actually, when I st first started doing the World's Worst Tattoos videos, that's what's... That's what kind of transitioned myself into doing... Um, like these picture type videos. That's what transitioned me from doing all the news videos to these picture type videos. So, some of you are like, shit, I love the news. So, sorry about that. Anyway, let's just get into the video. This is World's Worst Tattoos number 151. Let's do it! Here's a good example of uh, why you should go to a good tattoo artist. Now, I know this one is 100% photoshopped, but this is a reality of what could happen if you don't choose a good artist. You're like, hey... The artist said he could just freehand this amazing tattoo. No, probably not, okay? Make sure that they can draw it on paper first. Look at their portfolio, do all that shit, or you're gonna end up with a, well, you know what, it's not that bad. Dang, actually, that tattoo is so fire. That's fire, bro. Here's a man with a weird Benjamin Franklin tattoo on his neck. Oh, man. What happened to Franklin? What happened to old Benji boy? His nose looks too big, his eyes look a little crooked. And I just don't understand why you got Benjamin Franklin on your neck. You could have got it anywhere else where it would have been hidden. But on your neck, huh? Okay. All right. That's what you wanted. Here's a tattoo of, uh, I guess it's supposed to be a cat in a crescent moon. But it looks like a turd in a crescent moon. A turd with a tail in a crescent moon. That cat looks like a pile of shit. I'm sorry, but it does. Sorry, not sorry. Here's a guy that got abs tattooed on his belly. And this is the kind of workout routine I can get on board with. Check that shit out. Ripped. You probably should have got it like the same skin tone as you, so it might be a little more believable, but maybe you just wanted it for the joke. It's better than this six-pack tattoo. But damn, man, nice abs. Look, I don't have the motivation to actually work out until I get abs. I hardly have the motivation to work out, period. So if I ever want abs, this is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Uh, this is actually a tattoo that I like. I don't know why, but it's just, it's a good one. It's Ryu shooting a fireball, and look, it burned his hair. <laughs> get it? It gives you a good excuse to have these little, uh, ear bangs. Could you imagine if that was just his haircut without the tattoo? It would look really weird. You just have little ear bangs. <laughs> Who has ear bangs? <laughs> oh, man. Maybe this was his haircut, and he's like, I need to do something to justify my bad haircut, so he got the tattoo on the side of his head. Oh, Nazi tattoo. Great. Something tells me this person is racist. I don't know what it is, I just have a gut feeling. I have a good sixth sense about this sort of thing. Why would you want a giant Nazi tattoo? Well, I know why you would want it, but it's just stupid, man. Like, just... It just makes me sad how many people still buy into this, like, culture of hate. They just can't love everyone. They just have to hate people for stupid little reasons. Like, there's no reason to want to be a Nazi in this day and age. It's just fucking dumb. You see this tattoo and I'm like, you are a stupid person. You have a low IQ and you're dumb. Now this tattoo I didn't use for a very long time because it said trust. I thought, okay, it says trust issues in very bad font, but I thought it said trust pussies. And he's holding his cat and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I should use this. Maybe I was just like on the fence. Like, is it going to get me in trouble? Maybe, maybe not. But no, it says trust issues, and but it looks like trust pussies. Trust your cats, man. Trust your little kitty cat. Trust your buddies. Trust your buddies. Trust your buddies. Fuck me like you hate me. Ew. No. No, thank you. This one could be Photoshop. I don't know. It just looks like it's Photoshop. It looks like someone just took a picture and then Photoshopped it. This little tattoo on there. Either way, the answer is no. Not doing it. Oh, here's another... Little butt crack tattoo. It's a permanent thong. Cause if you just always want to have your thong showing, you get it tattooed on your butt. And then you never have to wear underwear. Or you could just be like me and just wear thongs all the time. Is he joking? Is he not joking? Who knows? Only my wife knows. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can change. I can gut change. Is that a G? It's 
supposed to be cannot. It's like, can get change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Um, well, you can... Maybe. Did you get that on purpose? So you're like, the things I cannot change, like this tattoo that I spelt cannot with a G for some reason. She's got my toe. Aw, a camel toe tattoo. Cool. Sweet. That's really funny. <laughs> Why would you want a camel toe tattoo? Here's a really bad angel tattoo. It's... Wow. What am I looking at here? Yeah, it's really bad. You got a really bad tattoo of an angel on you. It's not... It's not good. What's the opposite of good? It's bad. And, uh, we'll end with this one here, which is another prime example of why you go to a tattoo artist that is sanitary and you don't give yourself tattoos, or else you end up with foot rot. Or whatever this is. It's just an infected tattoo. Your stars should not be melting off your body. Don't do tattoos yourself. Don't. It's dangerous. Don't go to some guy in the alleyway that's like, yeah, I'll give you a star tattoo. Let me just uh, pick up one of these heroin needles off the ground and I'll go to town. Don't do it. Or you end up with a foot like this. I'm sure this person regrets their life decisions and they won't do it again. But you shouldn't have to learn by getting an infection on your body. Just be smart when you get your tattoos. That's all I ask. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. 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 I don't think I put enough pictures in these videos. They seem to be going a little short, but uh, the next ones, I'll, these have already been filmed. You know, the next ones, now this is just me trying to pad the video. I'm like, maybe if I just talk about how short the video is for a little while, I can add some length to it. So if I just sit here for a little bit, I can uh, make the video a little bit longer and then, you know, in my analytics, it'll look better because people will watch it longer, so I'm just, like, gonna talk here for a second to pad the video a little bit, because, uh, I noticed that it ran short, so here I am, doing more talking, and... So what are you guys, you, what are you guys doing today? What is, what, what kind of plans you got? Leave a comment down below, let me know what you're, uh, what you're up to today.